Breaking news. As President Olusegun Obasanjo laments amendment of June 12, 1993 election. Hello, my wonderful people. Olusegun Obasanjo, former president of Nigeria, is talking about what happened at June 12 election, the real deal, what really happened. What were the mishap? What were the trick? What were the things that happened? What the betrayers and all, you know, uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Former, thank you so much. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo on Sunday lamented the amendment of June 12, 1993 presidential election, permanently, presumably won by the late philanthropist MKO Abiola, blaming the amendment on bad bells. Olusegun said the amendment robbed Egba land and Ogun state the rare privilege of having three of its prominent sons occupying the number one leadership position in the country at different times till date since independence. Olusegun Obasanjo spoke at the 46th president party of Abiokuta club held on Sunday in Abiokuta, the Ogun state capital. The elder statesman who was referring to former head of Interior National Government, Chief Ernest, himself who governed the country first as the military head of state and the civil president, noted that Abiola would have become the third in 1993 polls. Who Note that Abiola would have become the third if 1993 polls was not annulled. Or Basanjo was honored as the trustee of the as the trustee of the club, why MK Abiola was awarded a post most vice patron of the club. The former president, who recalled that Abiola was his classmate at the Baptist Boys High School, Abiokuta said he, Abiola, richly desired the awards bestowed on he, Abiola, richly deserves the award bestowed on him by the Abiokuta Club. Abbasan just said, when Abiokuta Club was in the process of being birthed, things in Abiokuta were not as rosy as they are today. The sons of Abiokuta who were in Lagos put their heads together in late chief Sumbo house to think of what they could do to improve the development of Abiokuta as a city. I pay tribute to all those founding members, those who have departed this world and those who are still with us. I want to thank the club for his for this wonderful honor being bestowed on me today. The honor being bestowed on my classmate MK Wabiola, who richly deserves it. He also greeted the people and asked that things should continue to improve. Normally you win a cup three times. You keep that cup, isn't it? If not the bad bells, if not for the bad bells, Abiokuta would have produced president of Nigeria three times, in which case we should have kept it permanently. Obasanjo then pledged to continue to, quote, contribute his quarter to the growth and development of Igba land, Ogun, state and Nigeria in general. But be that as it may, we have a great heritage and we should all be proud of our heritage. On this note, I will say on this occasion, I thank the president, the patron, grand patron, members of the board of trustees, the executive, and I want to say this. I will continue to contribute my quota to the development and growth of this great club, an extension to development and growth of Abiokuta, the Ogun state of Nigeria, of Africa, and indeed the world in whatever way I can. The Alake and the prominent ruler of Igba land and all represented here, MKO Abiola in Assemsha, a proud son of Abiokuta, and those who have continued to make our land great, if not for the bad bells, would have become Nigerians' president. So that's Olusha Gwabasanjo talking about late MKO Abiola and how, if you win the uh, uh, cup three times in football, if you win the World Cup three times, you are you are you know normally when you win the cup there are some uh prizes and all that that comes with it but when your country 
state or club wins it three times, it is mandatory that you keep that cup, meaning that once, okay, maybe mistake, two, maybe coincidence, but the third time you are destined, the cup likes you and you just have to have it. Okay, so he said, and he made and he listed out three occasions on which he saw Abiyokuta and two other prominent sons of Abiyokuta who would have been Nigerian's president and probably Abiyokuta would just be mandated to produce the president for life from, you know, Nigeria. However, that did not happen in the case of MKO, who died before he could see the actualization of that very set same dream. Encouraging everybody that they all um, and everyone must continue to build and um, ensure that things are better, especially in a good state. For things to be well and things to be okay, everybody must contribute their quota. Our MK Wabiola, we all remember June 12th, what happened and how that was annulled and um, all that followed. You know, uh, in Nigeria, you know that things are not just the way they seem, okay? Uh, things are not just the way they seem. There are some people who will not just want some people because they feel the <laughs> these people should not have been the leaders. You know, whatever their decision or opinion are, well, Nigeria will become better if we stop lying to ourselves. If we rise up to the truth and say it as it is, instead of allowing bad eggs and people who do not deserve to, you know, to control the affairs of the nation. People who, you know, that basically they are selfish and all they think about is themselves. What happened in Nigeria in 1993, it's something that will continue, you know, to haunt the history of Nigeria. Just like what happened, just like the civil war that happened in Nigeria. There are, there are some key landmark events that have happened in this country that... When you look at things, you know that Nigeria, mm, you know. So that's where we are today. And um, we continue to pray that um, if Nigeria still remains by 2023 and there is an election, that things will be better, you know, if Nigeria still remains as one. Because I say that because um, there are so many groups who are agitating to leave the country and become a republic. And who knows? Never say never. You never can tell. Please leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.